episode 103, John Bonet case, Sweet Glenn Meyer. Within the blue rectangle is John and Patsy Ramsey's house. And then across the street, within the green rectangle, is Joe and Betty Barnhill's house. And in red is Glenn Meyer, who was a tenant in their basement when John Bonet was murdered. Many of you know that when Patsy Ramsey's handwriting was compared to the ransom note, it was inconclusive. Some felt it was her writing, some felt it wasn't her writing, and they weren't sure. But a lot of you don't know that Glenn Meyer's handwriting was compared to the ransom note, and the first time they did the comparison, they saw similarities and asked for a second handwriting sample from Glenn Meyer. Another thing that many people don't know is John Ramsey did not know that Glenn Meyer was a neighbor and was living in the basement of Joe Barnhill's house. But someone that did know was Burke and John Bonet Ramsey because they had been to the house and they had met Glenn many times. Furthermore, the Barnhills had a key to the Ramsey's household, and so Glenn easily could have obtained that key and used it to enter the Ramsey's house that Christmas night. On December 23rd, 31 people arrived for the party. The Whites, the Barnhills, the Fernies, the Steins, and the Barbers, and all of their children plus their assorted house guests. Later that evening, Glenn Meyer, a single man who rented a room in Joe and Betty Barnhill's basement, showed up looking for them. I invited him in because the Barnhills were good neighbors. Maybe this is a case of Glenn Meyer having the means, the motive, and opportunity to commit this horrible crime. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and on the next episode, we'll take a look at the Zodiac Killer case, followed by an episode on the John Bonet case. So I'll see you the next time.